guys welcome back we are in norway back to norway again we had a series with frederick stad in norway that was the second division in norway you have a lot of sleeping giants guys but remember if you're gonna go with this sleeping giant that is called uh, lillestrom uh, you have to start the season on 2021 in a way because in scandinavia in norway they have different seasons so if you go start the normal season 2019 i think then this team is in the top division but if you go to 2021 then they are in uh, sorry 2020 if you go to that season they are then in uh, what they call here ubos liga that is the second division in norway Lillestrøm is a big club, big history. They are right outside the uh, capital of Oslo. They are main contender, I think, for the big club of the uh, of the city of Oslo, Vålerenga. So they, so they are. Uh, this is a big history game. This is in a way like Atletico Madrid, I think, in a way. It's a big club. When you look at their history here, guys, you can see that they have uh, won the Norwegian Cup six times, the top division five times. But lately they have been in Premier Division. They were here. The best season of the, their best season was second place in 2001, and they have gone almost down here. They went down to 12th place, and then they came back to 13th, and they dropped down to 14th. The 14th there is a relegation because there are not that many teams in Norway in the top division. So we are playing. You have a good economy. Your stadium is. Uh, this stadium here is 12,000 average attendance in the sec in the league one in a way is 5,000 so if you come up they can be up to seven to eight thousand so yeah this is this is a sleeping giant they got a depth here uh, if you go to the finance here you can see that the economy is good but you have to do a job there but they have better economy than many of the top teams uh, in the first division in the top division you can see the income and it's uh, you can see the loans they have. They have a loan here that goes up to the 225 that they paid 9,000k each month. So they also got good sponsorship, I think. They got a lot of sponsors, as you can see here, the per season. So you get a lot of money coming in from the sponsors. So thinking about that, guys, the sponsorships here, as also duration is long time. You're going to finish two of the, these two going to go out next year that's 1.8 million but you're coming up to the top division again you're going to get a lot of good sponsors i think so they are also the, the thing is with the sleeping giants is that you have to go to a club that have the foundation to build the pub or have been big club before but same times if you want to do things like that it should be in, in cities that you can get players you know if you are but here you have to share a lot of players anyway the squad you can see here guys we played with um uh, Matevai Igonen. Igonen, he's from Estonia. He played for me as the first goalkeeper, very good in the kicking part, and uh, we're gonna go look at the tactics later. You have also the players such as in the de defense, Tobias uh, Salquist. Uh, he scored for me 12 goals as a center back. I think it was a combination that he's good in the air jumping and also good. We had a lot of trainings on corners to set pieces, guys. So we, we, we want to score goals through that. We have different formation. We're going to look at that. We have also Philip Alexander Kulberg um, Schlurdal. He was my ball playing defender. He didn't play. I, I, I saw his tackling was not that good. His marking was not that good. When you start the game, he's also, I think, 19 years old. But his jumping reach is good. His physical good. But... To even go through the seasons, you see, oh, maybe this can be a Bonucci in the Norwegian league, you know. So, as you can see, his technique is very high. So, yes, he can be a fullback, but you can also be a good ball playing defender. We know 13 is passing in Norwegian League 1 with 12, no, sorry, 12 in passing, 13 in pa technique. His vision is 11, his dribbling is 11. So, this can be a good, this is a Bonucci quality in that division. And he also will become increase his level. He play, he started on the bench in the start of the season. Then he came in and played 15 games, one goal. The cool thing is that I checked this player out in the real life. He played in fifth division here and suddenly came from fifth division to the top league in Norway. And he also suddenly played the U19 tournament, European tournament with the Norway. So that's a real jump he made there. So he, this is a cool player. So anyway, he played well. Uh, you also have Lars Ranger here at the right defender. He's also 20 years old when you start the game. He's 21 now. He played fixed at the right back for me. His pace is good. He 
this is a player to keep you know so you also I like the players you like uh, Simon uh, Simon kind Mikkels Mikkelsen uh, he's from Norway 27 years old uh, he's a good player especially in the defensive department he's very good in his tackling as you can see here his pace is okay got good okay crossing this is an okay left back in the team uh, he played 29 games and four assists uh, you also have uh, Kahn Karinen. The, the reason I use Karinen is because of his pos positioning, his tackling. He was a he's, he was a player who can defend. Uh, he he could uh, screen the defensive part, you know, and he did a good job. Because our midfielders, the, our central midfielders that I bought him was Mohammed Mahinin. Uh, he came from second division or yeah he played in the Ubus league in the first division the year before but they had been relegated so he played then so but 2.7 is nothing he played 741 three goals seven assists this is incredible for this amount of money his value now is increase of 45 it will also uh, increase based on we are going to the top division now as you can see we won the league uh, we're gonna go and you can see also we also have if and I Matthew. I liked him very well He's a good Mazella in the game At this division guys, so 7.73. He was the partner of Muamanin and uh, they played as you can see Matthew played as a Mazella Manin played as a deep line playmaker and behind them you have Karinen who gave them screen you have defensive part because even though he's a deep line playmaker He's not giving you anything defensively coverage uh, at left you had uh, Sully, I brought him in, uh, he was supposed to be my guy, bought him in, because we, 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 you like dribbling in the in this team, you know, dribbling was really something that no one had, so I saw he played very good from my, he was playing good for our opponent, Ranheim, that was a team that really was leading the table when I bought him, but it, no, but he played well, come on, 6 assists and 3 goals, that was good, that was good, but he didn't play as well as it played here. Uh, we also had a problem at the right side. I mean, the thing was a striker scored. These three played well. Defensive part played well. Our next top scorer was Salquist, a center defender. So I, I really ha had to do something half season with our wingers because our winger didn't produce anything. So I also brought up someone called Adrian uh, Ilsen Teigen. And the thing with him is that uh, he was in the junior team when I brought him up. But that he really delivered seven goals, and I can think why did I don't take him up faster up. But as you can see, his physical is not that good. He's 21 years old. He played, I think, in the B team, wasn't it? Yeah, he was playing in the B team. His um, determination was good, and his uh, technique, his first touch, his dribbling is good, and that combined gave you a it gave you a really good season. So I don't know. I think he have over. Prestige. Uh, this is not something he's gonna deliver again, but uh, it was cool to see it. Suddenly, a winger start to score and make some more assists. And you also have an interesting player in the team is uh, Lena Olsen is maybe your best player, a uh, most important player because the goals comes from him. If it doesn't come from a centre back, <laughs> Salquist score 15 goals, seven assists. He Premier plays very well in the field. You can see, if you're watching the games, he's playing well. Uh, you also have Bakai in the team. He's a left back. He's a young guy, 19 years old, 18, I think, when he started. You should give him playing time and make him improve himself. Uh, seven games, and yeah, he's a good player. You also have uh, Ustad here. I didn't. I brought him also up. He also is playing in the second team because, as I told you, oh no, don't release him. Uh, he played only seven games, but. I, it came halfway season. I said, you know, my wingers are not delivering. So I brought up the best dribblers from the B team, and that was him and the other guy called Ulsenhagen. So they 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 delivered because my wingers didn't deliver. <laughs> so you also have um, Peter O'Reilly Larson. He is a, can play central midfielder. I bought him in. He's not in the team. He plays 17 game. In the beginning, I was using a box to box midfielder, and this guy was a yeah, this was the shit, you know, this leveled his teamwork, but next year I think I'm gonna sell him. I bought him very be for 87,000k and I can sell him for over 100,000 pounds, so that's increasing in the money you need. That role is away from the team. And uh, you also have a guy called Mikhail Carson I bought, that was really money in the joint. This was my big shot, this was my big signing. 
I bought him for because of his heading and jumping reach. I was starting with the two strikers up front, you know. So we played the target man, and he he seemed to be a good target man, but he didn't deliver. Sandberg is a central defender. He's 20 years old. He's uh, played six games. Uh, he's also so you have got a lot of young players. But I went for the other one. I went with with the uh, long name guy, uh, Kolberg. Kolberg here. Uh, so who else do you got in the team? You got Christians. You got I bought in Movoto. I always am in Norway. I was in second division. I bought Movoto there too. He's a cent he became my first center defender when I bought him, but then he got injured and then that uh, Kulberg guy took over. Because of his jumping reach, his heading, his uh, positioning, he's in free transfer, his wage is not that high. So uh, he's a good good buy and he's played with in Norway. So I bought some young players here too from the Volranga two team. And you also have Gustafsson. As he started as a winger for me at the right side. Gustafsson here, he he played well, but two, four goals, assist and two goals. I, he he had the pace, I think, but not the dribbling and not the finishing. So I am more for the technical part when you're a good team than only pace. So yeah, he's gonna be a team on the bench for next year like that. <laughs> so yeah. But you also have some good pip players that I have loaned away. You have one of them is this one. He was in the first team. This is the one that play I also bought into Maritimo in um, um, Portugal League before because I test him here. I didn't make him work as he because he's a Mezella in a, in my opinion in this team. So I didn't want to. I used him halfway for my team. I played. Uh, he played ten games. I borrowed him away to Mjöndalen, he didn't play, I think he got injured, so I brought him back again to the team, so he's coming back from injury. So he's 18 years old when he start the game, this is a good player, but in my opinion, the, the Nigerian player was a better in the start, so he have to be loaned away or be a number two. So also on way on loan, you also got the other players, you know, you also got um, a room too, I can, you can see here, you can go, we can go and watch the report uh, potential you also got uh, Ali Apipo Tongano. he's 17 years old I gave him a professional contract when he came to the team he had a uh, amateur contract and I borrowed him to the turf division in Norway he played well coming back next year I think also he have to be along the way since we have gone up to the pro gun promotion he will not be ready for playing that he need one more year away I think or play in the second team this is a good one also, Lasse Nurdos, I tried to use him as much as possible as his dribbling was good, his pace is lacking, his creativity is I think is good as well as his flair, his uh, vision is lacking, it's hard to say okay are you a winger if you are not using a winger at the left side, so what should I do with this guy, <laughs> so uh, he, I tried to use him as much as possible, four games, he scored a goal, I loaned him away to, <coughs> sorry, fourth division, Played well, so now he's back and we shall see what we do. Or if we keep him or keep him in the second team or what we do. Emil Odegor is a good goalkeeper. He's going to be put in as a second goalkeeper in the first team. Uh, he is on loan when you start the game with another team called Grurud. He's the opponent. Oh my god, he can see the 63 goals. He's a good goalkeeper at this level. So when he comes back, you should maybe bring him up. He's lacking a little bit in the strength department. But don't forget, he's only 21 years old. 20 when you start the game. Uh, yeah, you also got uh, other players. You got one more, I think it was uh, uh, not him, but you had one other player I liked very well. There, there you got him, Shahram Jabari. Shahram Jabari, I think, is a good player. He's 17, 16 years old and start the game. His aggression is good. What he will be, I think, he will fit in as a Mazella or as a full back you can also see him that maybe but his bravery is really bad <laughs> so but he has amateur contract when it came to the team I loaned him away to, again far away far away he's gonna be in the second team next year playing there uh, and I think uh, yeah that that, com that says a lot about the team I think you got some as you can see good young players as also Mika Blata you bought Blaika that I'm going to I think I'm going to release him because I can maybe give him a contract, but yeah, he's a cool team to be. We played in a way, pass into, you are in the second division in Norway, you have to pay it simple, right? <laughs> so we pass it into space, 
the reason was we had a lot of players who c at technical we was good you know uh, in this division uh, we played fairly narrow we played distribute to the you can see the center backs we use the counter we use the counter press as well as we use the counter so yeah at higher defensive line higher line of the engagement more urgent in the pressing so it was a little bit high press team uh, what did we ask of the players? I asked uh, Lena Olsen to shoot a little more because his long shots was very good. You, you don't, you are lacking finishing ability in this team. You know, the attribute finishing is not there. You have also Suli that I also asked him as a nothing special, nothing special. That he, I only asked Ty Olsen Tygen to mark a specific person because I felt he went around and marking all, everybody else. When it comes to Matthew, I didn't say anything to Maninen, I didn't ask anything to Karin, I didn't ask anything. I don't think I asked any of I just asked Halkuis to take a few risks and I always do that when I left center back. And again, this set piece is from the Juventus tactic, you can go back to and see, I have loaded that one up, so it's, yeah, it's a good one. So you score a lot of goals on set pieces, but you have to also train on set pieces. Set pieces is important when, you don't, when you're lacking finishing ability up front, guys. Uh, nothing special here or here we won the league I got a you know I was about to get um, I was about to get the, the board called me in I think too early you know we were in third place we were just four points or something three or four points behind the team that was in front of us I don't really know why they they went so hard on me and they expected it to yeah you know uh, what's happening and things like that <laughs> so uh, and yeah and I really won the games after that so we went uh, point 67 points we got here we are l they expect you to win the title promotion with winning the title so you cannot go for this place here that goes for promotion based on playoff so yeah we won the series we got direct promotion and we lost five games that a lot i think we lost the games because of me wondering for the formation more uh we i you know because i don't know much about uh, since i have been in second division in norway but i didn't know that i had so technically good team gifted team in this division and i had also something like you saw those those young players uh, that was on loan um away i start to use them but I couldn't. I needed the finishing touch, so I tried two goal, two strikers since we were didn't have that many good finishers, and I also had a lot of hope about Michael Carlson here that he would deliver his heading and pro jumping reach. He and Lena Olsen up front, I thought would be awesome strikers. It didn't happen, so we also transferred a lot of players out of the team. I think you can see here. Uh, yes, we sold Usama Ali. I don't know his uh, second team. Uh, we also sold Lisko Rastu. This was a cool one. Yeah, we bought him in as a very good project for the. You know, he just makes problem in the team. I had to sell him. Uh, I bought him at 16 years old. But sold him at 17 years old. Uh, we also had Anton Henningsson. He's a striker. He really doesn't give anything to us. Uh, he could be a good target man, but target man didn't deliver in this game. For me, it didn't deliver. So you also have uh, Christopher. Oh my God, uh, Udo Max Bakken. Uh, he's a good player. He's a good player, and he he's a good player. But you get some money for him. I didn't find a place for him. I, he scored, <laughs> yeah, of course, he scored a goal. The one game I sent him in. Uh, he also scored two goals in the cup game. Uh, maybe I should have given him more time. He's got good finishing. You know, he got he's okay. His work rate is good. He could play as a Mazella. He can play other parts. But he gave me the money to come into the team. For me, it's also money is important when you are rising a uh, sleeping giant, you know, because the money is important. Sindra Mariotz Hansen, uh, he's also sold in the team. He, I think I sold him right away, didn't I? Or he played one cup game before I sold him. Uh, yeah, he's a good player. He's, nah, he's not a good player. I don't know what you're going to use him for. In this game, he's not that good. Uh, we also had uh, Charles Eza. He's also from... They had three players from Nigeria. Uh, he's a good Mazella, in my opinion. But if you are going up, you know, he's not going to bring you up. And they got good high wages. So when I sell him, I 
really I didn't try him. I tried him once he delivered. Uh, no, sorry, in the cup. Yeah, I just used him. You have other midfielders. I wanted to work on those young boys in the team, but it didn't went down. And you have also Arnold Smarson. He's a very good player. He's made his finishing is good. So I tried really, really, really hard to find a place for him. I went him as a second striker. I went him as a everything. He's a good assist in the game. He doesn't score goals, and he's slow player. He's getting older. He has marketing value, and uh, he got also some wage. You know, so you should take out stander what do you want him i played him half season and then i said okay I, I can't use him as a winger i can't use him as a forward uh and he would be a substitute as a mazella for me and also his pace is so low so he can also maybe play a deep line playmaker but then you have better players and we have you now getting promotion we have to get over you know he's 32 years old next year he will be maybe 33 years old Selling while he have the value and uh, so yeah so he went also out of the team you have him but this is a good player you can maybe if you build it right you can build around him uh, or who want to build around the 32 years old if you're building a promotion so you have also some other players here you you also had the Moses by he's a striker he's got a good physical uh, he sold him right away when the season started. He went back to Nigeria, scored a lot of goals. He's a good player uh, for the Nigerian league. Also, this is one of the better players when you start the game. Sharif Sinyan. Um, many the players were a little bit angry that I sold him. He can be a good, he can be a good ball playing defender. But the other one that was younger was also better, and he also is origin from Gambia, so he will start to play national games for Gambia. But I sold him very early and good money to bring into the team i think uh, he played fixed with them almost so he has one of those players that have been with the team coming down and it, i think he expected a lot but he's sold no back to top league he played there played well so but his jumping reach is good you know so that would be great he's so and his pace is good his passing is good but his first touch is good, but he's lacking the dribbling and technique and vision yeah, so I think we sold him. You can find if you f he's a good player, but he's also good money. <laughs> you understand what I mean? I think also this guy is also in the team. Uh, Maglavis. He can be a right back for you. But the 20 euro I went for. So yeah, building in Norway, you have to build for the future. And was it cool? I have always said the Norwegian league is cool based on that you play. You can earn money in the league, especially if you're low not that good team uh, based on the cup games you even get money you can if you get this team to the champions league you 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 will no champions league or europe league you will get really money you need i mean this is the thing if you're playing in the lower leagues uh, and then i mean lower european leagues you the, the way to money is one uh, to have a stadium that you can pull up second you need to have to get them to europe so you get some money from europe uh, if you do that, you can really make something. You have a lot of young players, but no. Next year we are in the Premier Division, and uh, we have to go for Europe in two times a year. This is a team that have the foundation, the training facilities, the stadium to be at the top of the Norwegian, not maybe at the top of Norwegian league, but the top uh, top division in Norway. But they have the fundament to be. If you build it to be a top, and maybe that they are relegated is helping you because you can give some of those young players like this guy, uh, Philip guy, players paying chance, you know, and make something and coming up. And for example, we've also bought this guy called um, Manin from the second division. You know, this is a good player. So you can earn some money here, guys. Is it cool? Yes, of course it's cool. You have to be, but you have to be hands on training. You have to be hands on training. Uh, you have to be hands on. Uh, this, the set pieces in my opinion is extremely important in this kind of leagues where you're lacking finishing and dribbling uh, yeah and you have to go out there and find the right players and I, as I told you before in the Fredrikstad game that in Norway you have something that's very good and that is the players are cheap in the lower division and many of them are free so you can for example I saw the club um, I also bought in the players from the Fredrikstad team I played with in the second division that won promotion to this division so they have players that can play here it's fun to be in the Norwegian league 
but remember you can start in there in 2019 or 2020 start in 2020 this team is then in the Ubus league that is the next highest league in Norway they expected to win it to go straight up again and uh, I think you should do it uh, it's very fun because it really goes fast too so you can uh, you only have 30 games here uh, as you can see we didn't score the most goals Ranham scored more goals than us but is it fun of course it's fun well, I keep playing this game with Lillestrøm in the top division. I will give it a shot there and I see what's happened. In the cup, we played well. We didn't go all the way, of course, but we played well against the top division team. So I'm sure we can make it. And uh, as you can see also here in our results, it started a little bit hard. Ways, then suddenly it went 7-1. And this was the period where I was called in to, to the board. And you can also see that you here. Well, no, this was the part. Yeah, this was when I was in call into the board. I had to win this one zero two two. I was sure I was then getting sacked here, <laughs> but they kept me here, and uh, we won one and draw draw one loss, and then the ending we won three zero four zero three one three zero two zero two one. You have a better squad than the other players, but go in there and check these players' teams, check their young young players. I think you can do a better job maybe than I did. I was uh, I thought this would be very simple and I suddenly, whoa, what's happening here? And I think that was because my my shows are playing Mikhail Carlsen. I had to say, okay, this is not working. Hey, guy, you are not delivering goals and we are not winning it. We are third place. 11 games, one goal is not good enough. So, yeah, you have to then swallow it and say, okay, swallow your pride, go on. Try out with Thomas Lennon Olsen alone as a sole striker. I was a little bit can this go because he is not that good finisher, but he scored okay goals. He scored okay with goals, and he's uh, he plays well in the game too. Plays well in the games. You see the games, you can see he playing well. He does important uh, part of the game. He's always included in the game. He's always bringing around the players around him, especially he and Ife and Matt. You have a good link up. Oftenly, he's playing as a Mazella, of course. And the coolest thing was to be a Salquist, of course. I mean, center back scoring 13 goals, guys. That's that's insane. In 27 games, 12 goals. These 12 goals, I know, will not come back next season in the Elitas area. So I have to do a job there. And uh, you have to also sell players. Remember that. Sell players. So, yeah. Remember also bringing the big database because if not, your players are all the time on international duty, playing here, playing there. Karinen is on loan to this team. You can, um, you can. I have asked them to loan him one more year, and they have accepted that. He's playing in Midtjylland Mid in uh, Denmark. So yeah. I liked Norwegian football here, guys. It's cool. You have seen maybe why players such a Holland and uh, Udgur is coming up. There's a lot of young players here. You have to... Maybe you can find something big around here too, you know. So, uh, try to do it. Excuse me, Marcus Knudsen. Why is his value so low? Ah, oh, it's because his contract is going out this year. Okay. Anyway, guys, should you go for it? Of course you should go for it. This is a cool, cool game. I like the Fredrikstad game more because they are one division lower and they have, they really are big, you know, in the history wise in Norway. This team is also big, but bringing Fredrikstad from second division to the elitist area in Norway, that would be awesome. Guys, thank you for your time and catch you later. Bye bye.